So let's see the next. That is BCNF normal form. What is BCNF? This is Boyce code normal form. First of all, what is BCNF? BCNF. What this means? This B means Boyce. It was given by two people. Boyce code normal form. Boyce code normal form. Okay. So this is a. I told you this is another research paper. So this was given in another research paper, and this is the most simple normal form. This normal form says that every non-trivial functional dependency LHS must be super key. Okay, this is extremely simple. This says that every non-trivial functional dependency LHS must be super key. Okay, so what is BC enough? A relation is in BC enough if whatever functional dependency you take. LHS must be super key. Is this clear? This is very simple. This BCNF, what it says that a relation is in BCNF, a relation R is in BCNF, is in BCNF, if and all if, for all FDs, for all non trivial FDs, for all non trivial FDs, what should happen? For every non trivial FD, what should happen? For every non trivial FD, you take any non trivial FD, you take any non trivial FD, x goes to A or x goes to Y, whatever. So you take any non trivial FD, okay? For all non trivial FD, x must be super key. This x must be super key. Is this point clear? Very simple definition. This is the most simple definition that just check the LHS. Just to check LHS of every non trivial functional dependency, every non trivial functional dependency, just check the LHS, it should be super key. This is your boy's code normal form. Tell me one thing what makes a relation in 3 enough but not in BC enough? What makes a relation in 3 enough but not BC enough? Remember this BC enough, what this BC enough is saying, the BC enough, what this BC enough is saying. This BCNF is saying that this should be super key. BCNF is saying that this should be super key. BCF, BCNF is saying that this should be super key. What 3NF is saying? What 3NF is saying? Tell me what 3NF is saying? 3NF is saying that either this should be super key or this should be prime attribute. Yes or no? Either this should be super key or this should be prime attribute. See very simple point. What three NF is saying? Look at what three NF is saying. Three NF is saying that this should not happen. This should not happen. What should not happen? This should not happen. Like not super key implies non prime. Agree? Yes or no? So this should not happen. 3NF is saying that this should not happen. So what should happen? So what should happen? So what should happen? If you have X determining A, non-trivial functional dependency. If you have non-trivial functional dependency. This is saying this should not happen. So what should happen? This should not happen. This should not happen. So what should happen if you have non-trivial functional dependency? So it should happen that it should happen that either this should be super key or this should be prime. Agree? Either this should be super key or this should be prime. Agree or not? Correct? This should happen in every non-trivial. What should happen in every non-trivial functional dependency? This should happen. So what I'm asking, I'm asking that BCNF is saying that this should be super key and 3NF is saying that either this should be super key or, or this should be prime. Okay. In which condition you will get, in which condition you will get, see, first of all, can I say every BCNF is 3NF? Can I say every BCNF is 3NF? So. R in BC enough implies if your relation is in BC enough, automatically is in it is in three enough. 
automatically it will be in 3 enough if your relation is in bc enough if your relation has this tell me tell me tell me if your relation has this then automatically your relation has this also because 3 enough is saying that either this should be super key or this should be prime so if this happens if this happens then 3 enough is happy if this happens then 3 enough is very happy correct so you can notice that if r is in bc enough then r is in 3 enough okay tell me when this will happen when this will happen that not in 3 enough but not in bc enough when this will happen in 3 enough but not in bc enough from this you see what type of fd should you have so basically we must have so there exists a fd there exists a non trivial fd tell me what should happen it should happen there exists a non trivial fd there exists a non trivial fd where 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 what will happen where where this is not a super key there exists a non trivial fd where where this is not a super key correct and this is a prime because it must be in three enough it must be in three enough it must be in three enough so can i put non prime here can i put non prime here tell me if i put this now what will happen tell me now what will happen if i put this if i put this now it is not in three enough if i put this now it is not in three enough If I put this now, the relation is not in three enough and not in BC enough. Correct. So what should happen? Tell me. Is this clear? Please, please see. This is very easy concept. This is the condition for BC enough. This is the condition for three enough. When it will happen that you don't have BC enough, but you have three enough. When it will happen? You have three enough, but not BC enough. Tell me when it will happen. When you don't have BC enough, but you have three enough, you should not have BC enough. What it means? One by one, I am asking. You should not have BC enough. What it means? It means it should not be super key. It means it should not be super key. It should not be super key. It should not be super key. It should be in three enough. Now, it should be in three enough. So what should happen? It should be in three enough. So what should happen? This should be prime attribute. Okay, this should be prime attribute like correct okay so very simple so this should be prime attribute so tell me is this point clear to everyone so this is what i am saying that there exists a non trivial fd where where non non super key determines prime attribute non super key determines prime attribute then your relation is in three is in uh, three enough but not in bc enough okay now let's solve some questions so your chapter is over we have seen everything now we will see some questions and i will again all the important points i will again tell you okay shall we do it now we will solve some gate questions some nice gate questions we will solve and with these gate questions i will again all the important points again i will tell you okay so Anyway, let's solve this question first. This is not a gate exam question, but tell me what is the answer here? What should be the answer here? A, B, C, D, E, F. So first you find what are the candidate keys? What are the candidate keys? So you can notice A, B, uh, B, C, D, E, F. So just check A, D. What A, D can bring? Because A, D is not on RHS. A, D is not on RHS. A, D is not on RHS. So what AD will bring? AD can determine AD. It can determine A can bring BC. A can determine BC. C can determine F. C can determine F. And this D can determine E. This D can determine E. So this is your candidate key. So only candidate key is AB. So what are the non-prime attributes? So what are the non-prime attributes? So those are basically, I can say B, C, E, F. These are the known prime. Is this in first normal form? Yes. There is nothing to check. Is this in first normal form? Yes. Next. What about second normal form? What about 
see okay see bcnf let's let's check for bcnf because that is easy because this is very easy let's check for bcnf because this is very 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 easy so let me check for bcnf what about bcnf this is the violation see okay this is the violation see bcnf is very easy right yes or no and bcnf is very easy bcnf says that super key must determine everything whatever you put here whatever you put here non trivial every non trivial fd must be like this every non trivial fd must be like this every non trivial fd must be like this now you can notice this is the violation because this is not super key this is not a super key so this is the violation and this is non and this is non trivial fd and this is a non trivial fd so this is the violation so not in 3 enough bc enough so we can say this is not in bc enough what about 3 enough 3 enough what about check 3 enough check 3 enough why i am going in the reverse direction anyone want to tell me anyone want to tell me why i am going in the reverse direction first bc enough then 3 enough then 2 enough why no because if we get see just think about it if we get the answer is b is two enough uh, if we get the answer three enough then we can stop if your relation is in three enough if your relation is in three enough then it is automatically in two enough then we can stop so if your relation is in three enough we can stop because your relation will definitely be in two enough the second point the second point they will ask you the highest normal form what they will ask you they will ask you the highest normal form like one and f two and f like i can say one and f is lowest one and f is lowest two and f three and f bc and f so they will ask you highest normal form they will ask you so always go in the reverse direction the third point what is the third point checking bc and f is easy checking three and f is is easier than two and f so basically bc and f is very easy three and f is easy and two and f is a little bit little bit uh, i can say it will take some time okay so let's see this so now you can notice check for three enough check for three enough what is the violation can you notice this is this is the violation this is the violation non prime non prime so you have violation because it is non prime it is non prime to non prime so or i can say or i can say this is a or i can say this is not super key this is not super key and this is non prime so this is the violation correct this is the violation so i can say this is not in three normal form also what about two enough what about two enough to second normal form so check proper subset of this is what you check proper subset of candidate key what are those tell me how many proper subsets are there tell me how many proper subsets are there of candidate key this is a proper subset this is a proper subset so tell me what is a plus what is a plus just find out what is a plus a plus is a b c and that's it and that's it so you can say non prime so here you can stop so this is not into enough also so your answer will be what so your answer will be one uh, that will be one enough is this clear your answer will be one enough